Okay, make sure your file is saved. Uh, let's look at our example again. <clears throat> Eventually. Okay, there's this nice glow on this planet. It helps um, to blend everything in here. So let's go back to our file. Uh, once again, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna make a selection, fill it with white, then create the glow. And here's how we do this. Go back to the planet copy layer or you can go to the planet layer as well. <clears throat> Enable the uh, magic wand tool just like we did before. Click anywhere up here so now we get the marching ants in this area. We've done this before. What we want to do is invert the selection so only the planet is selected. There's two ways to do that. One, we can go up to select inverse and it'll invert the selection which is fine. Let me uh, command Z. Another way to do that is with the marching ants, you can go uh, Command or Control Shift letter I. Control Shift I on the PC or, or Command Shift I on the Mac will invert your selection. Okay, so now I only have the planet selected, which is what I want. I'm going to make a white, a filled white layer underneath the planet. So what I got to do is go down to my planet te or plasma text layer because I want to be underneath the planet. So I got plasma text selected. Here's my planets, right? Make a new layer. Let's call this planet glow. It's a good idea to name your layers immediately because um, you will get extraordinarily confused, believe me. Okay, so planet glow is selected, it's empty. The marching ants are going around the planet. So I wanna fill this with white. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll use the paint bucket tool. It defaults uh, on your toolbar, you might see the gradient tool here. You hit the drop down menu next to the gradient tool and choose paint bucket tool. Make sure you're on the planet glow layer. Hover over within the marching ants and click and you won't see anything because it's hidden, but if I, you don't have to do this, but if I would disable the um, planet layers, this is what I'm going to see, a white area, okay? With the planet glow, la uh, planet glow um, layer enabled, what I want to do is bring the glow up a little bit so um, I can hit the letter V on the keyboard, or I can use the move tool, but hit the letter V on the keyboard, and I can use the direction arrows, the up arrow, just to like bring up the white, just like a little like sliver of white on top of the um, the planet. And you know it, it's not done yet. We got to do something else. So the marching ants are active. To disable the marching ants, you hit Command or Control D. D is in dog for deselect. So Command or Control D is deselected. So I got this weird looking white stripe on top of my planet. You know, not very wonderful. Um, what you want to do is, again, with the planet glow selected, layer selected, click on Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And it'll preview, um, enable the word Preview here. And I got my blur way, way up. But let's see what happens if I... Let me move this out of the way so we can see. Okay, so that, that's what my planet glow looks like at like close to 50, a radius of 50 pixels. Uh, let me go down. So the more... I want something like kind of nice and diffuse. Yours will be different. I set mine at about 50 to get this kind of effect. I'll click OK. Um, I'm just thinking, I didn't do this on the other example. I'm going to see if this, this will, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. Um, I got this really, really harsh edge here on the planet, which is not, I'm not loving that. Um, I could do a couple things. I could go on my planet layers and I could, I could put a blur here. I could soften it with an eraser tool. There's a zillion ways to do stuff in Photoshop, but I'm going to try, I'm going to put the planet glow on, I'm going to copy the planet glow, put a planet glow on top of the planet, and just see if that 
softens things a little bit. Uh, again, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I don't know if this is going to work, so you know, let's give it a shot. Come over to the layer palette, click on Planet Glow, click, hold, and drag it into the new uh, layer icon, and it, it deepened the glow. It looks kind of cool, actually, to me. So I'm going to put Planet Glow Copy on top of Planet Copy and just see what happens. And disaster strikes. Okay, but that's that's okay. That's you know, let's just deal with it. Okay, what I'm thinking is I could erase all this stuff and keep some of this Planet Glow on the edge, and it might work. So enable the eraser tool. That's this icon towards the middle of the toolbar, or you can hit the letter E on the keyboard, which is what I will do. Now the eraser tool is a brush. Typically it'll probably default to this hard edge brush. Okay, um, Hit the drop down menu and choose a soft round brush. And just like uh, we did with the brush tool earlier, you can use the bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of the brush. So I'm going to I increase my eraser brush to 200. It's not, and I'm gonna like erase this chunk. See, I got my flow. For some reason I got my flow way down here. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. And I can kind of And I, I like how that's like soften the edges. So, like, so take a look at the. What I'll do is I'll disable the the Planet Glow copy. That's without the glow on top, and that's with the glow on top. Which to me, this looks a little bit better. So let's review this here. I have in my layer. I have the Planet Glow. Okay behind my planet. Okay, Here's my planet. This is the planet copy. That was that multiply layer that I used to darken. And this is my planet glow copy on top of the planet. So I got a, a glow on top of the planet to soften that edge. And I got this planet glow underneath all these layers to, you know, that that's the glow I started out with. So uh, if that was a little confusing, just rewind the video and I'll see you in the next video.